Hey everyone, this is Rose and welcome to my random channel. This is gonna be a video that I actually I haven't done in a while. I feel like I need, I need to do these more often because I often get asked about whatever new insomniac product I'm trying to help me sleep. But this is actually gonna be a insomniac review on the Clova Sleep, I think that's how you say it, Sleep Z Patch. Now before I get into it, I'm gonna go ahead and put timestamps up because I've learned with my channel over the years that people are so effing impatient. I'm initially gonna talk about like my insomniac history just so you know or get a grasp of the severity of my, of my insomnia and then talk about how I stumbled upon this company and facts about the product and then actually unbox this product that's in this white envelope right here. Okay, my insomniac history. I'm interrupting myself. Today is March 12th, Monday, 2018. And can my fellow insomniacs out there please agree with me that daylight savings time if it applies to you, does it not effing suck in the springtime? I went to bed at 1230. I don't think I, oh wait, no, I did take some sleeping pills. I don't think I fell asleep until like almost four o'clock this morning. So today was a Monday. I've been suffering insomnia since I was a child. Of course, when I was a kid, I didn't really know what it was. I just can never fall asleep at night. It was almost like my brain would not turn off. And I could definitely say in my genetics, I'm more of a night owl. I'm more productive at night. I do more things at night. In the daytime, I'm pretty slow moving. I have to drink coffee in the morning to just function at work. I would not sleep. I would often get in trouble because my mom would, uh, would wake up in the middle of the night to me like eating and watching TV or something. And I quickly learned finally in high school that blackout curtains, sleeping masks, like eye, eye masks sometimes, and a fan would help me somewhat, like blocking out all light. And then it wasn't until I was 21, that's when I took my first sleeping pill. And I've been on a prescription before, by the way. But I have to say, when it comes to pre prescription sleeping pills, they're very effective at making me fall asleep, but I always wake up feeling really horrible the next morning, like really groggy and like a zombie. So that's why I'm not currently on a prescription. And it's almost like I grow a resistance to stuff. I can think of one company where I actually got up to five sleeping pills at night, which is completely not smart or safe. But yeah, to kind of give you some insight on me and my life, I've done it all. Uh, if you've, if any of you guys are my subscribers, you would know my apartment is really dark, unlike what it looks like right now. Like all my windows are covered, I uh, have very dim kind of mood lighting or ambiance, whatever. But I just like my things to be dark. Uh, my bedroom currently has not had a TV in it for the last four years. The only two electronics that are in my, well, three, well, no, a fan is not electronic. Two electronics I have in my room would be my lamp. I don't know if that even counts either, and my alarm clock, and that's it. I usually will have my phone charging like out in my living room or something. I've stopped eating after a certain time, not worked out after a certain time. I've done the whole bath thing at night, not consumed. Actually, I, I only really drink caffeine in the daytime now, so I don't drink it after a certain point, like after 11 or 12 after my lunch. I've done it all, and I would have to say in the past year, my insomnia has gotten better through due to discovery of one product that I've yet to review on my channel that I will review soon. But I know a lot of it probably pertains to like stress and anxiety, and my life, it's still stressful right now, but it's not as stressful as it used to be. And so a combination of that, me, gotten, me getting healthier recently, has allowed me to kind of fall asleep on my own without taking anything. But unfortunately, it's not consistent and I don't sleep like a straight six to eight hours. But yeah, Instagram and this whole algorithm thing really freaks me out because I was on Instagram 
And then all of a sudden, a sponsored advertisement popped up from Clova Sleep. Ooh, there we go. This Clova Sleep Company, who I'm following now. And I'll put all their information down below. And one of the main ingredients that's in this patch, this is a patch that you put on yourself, by the way, is magnesium, which I actually already know from personal experience with the recent product that I've used that I have yet to review on my channel, that magnesium actually does work for me. And so that seemed appealing, but then they're also offering 25% off your first month with code SLEEP25. So anyway, I kind of went through their posts, read some reviews, of course, saw very positive things. Uh, the original price for 28 patches is $30.99. But then 25% with shipping and everything dropped it down. Or was the shipping? F oh, shipping's free. So it taxes and everything dropped my order down to like 23 bucks. It says, tried, uh, want better sleep? Try to sleep Z patch with naturally occurring ingredients that promote restful sleep and easy overnight application. Apparently it's been featured on the doctors with, uh, for restful sleep and jet lag with melatonin and naturally occurring ingredients, 100% drug free overnight application. Use one patch nightly, yada, yada, yada. It's simply peel, stick and sleep, stays in place all night, we shall see. Free shipping on all orders for a limited time. Friendly customer service, 100%. Uh, 365 day money back guarantee. We're so confident that you'll love our products. We're willing, we're willing to offer them to you at 100% money back guarantee. Return your order for any reason whatsoever. Sleep Z patch is engineered for optimal absorption throughout the night. It's like a restful sleep sandwich. There's a contact layer, all natural adhesive, allows the patch to be worn anywhere on the body. The formula layer is a second layer, releases nutrients throughout the night up to eight hours. And the third layer is the backing layer, a soft foam backing layer providing structural support for the patch all night long. They even have a YouTube video that talks about uh, how the product works, which I can link that down below as well. Of course, they recommend you put it on a hairless part of your body. Uh, some, some suggestions are the shoulder, Shoulder blade, inner bicep, inner forearm, stomach, bottom of foot, upper thigh. I've seen someone put it on the top of their foot. This company is based out of El Dorado Hills, California. Of course, they recommend this for adults 18 years and older. Their advanced formula includes magnesium BHB, hops, valerian, a word that I can't pronounce, Skull cap, melatonin, 5 HTP, GABA, passion flower, and cosmoparine. Of course, if you subscribe, you save 10%. Uh, it drops it down to 27.89. Yeah, apparently some of these ingredients will help reduce stress and uh, reduce anxiety, which I think part of my insomnia is definitely from that. Uh, clinically tested, tested, dermatologically tested, clinically proven, kind of skin, mild for skin, safe for skin, dermatologist approved. Of course, if you're pregnant or nursing, they suggest you to check with your doctor. Oh, and they actually do have a free trial, which I had no idea about. Um, but of course, it, it is linked to a subscription. So they'll send you four patches to try it for free. You actually do pay $3.95 shipping. And then 10 days after your order, if you don't cancel it, they'll auto auto enroll you into a monthly subscription. So they'll charge you for a four week supply. You can cancel, pause, or update your shipping frequency at any time. And they apparently have a wellness group, which if you subscribe to their product, that gives you the Clova membership. Oh, and they actually do have like a referral program if you become a member of their sleep squad, which I am actually gonna sign up for now. Because, of course, you earn coins or cash to redeem, and you can offer friends discounts, so. Wow, $10 discount is actually pretty good, because my, the Sleep 25, 25% only really takes off, like, 7 bucks off the order, so. So, you sa saving $10 if you don't take advantage of the free trial is actually a really good deal. And so I'm not just trying to promote like my referral code. If you want to take the plunge, take the risk and try it out yourself, I'll put my referral link down below. Again, of course, you don't have to use it. But anyway, I think I rambled on long enough. I'm now going to open this. 
I was introduced to this on March 10th, which was a Saturday via Instagram. I ordered it that morning, got a FedEx notification like at three o'clock that afternoon that it was shipped out. And today is Monday, March 12th, and this was delivered. So I live in Georgia, this came from California. So no complaints at all with the shipping. To see, oh, okay. In this box, or is this box? That basically talks about all the things I've already told you. That's nice, you patch we give for every purchase of donations made to families in need. All right, so instructions say, uh, put it on one to two hours before bedtime. It is, I will show you, it is 1021 right now. Oh, it does recommend to rotate application sites, okay. Or shows like the supplement facts of all the different ingredients that I've already mentioned if you wanna. Then that's the inside of the box. And then here are the patches, just inside, just a normal plastic bag. So, all right, there's seven of these right here. And then that's what the back of them looks like. Does smell really herby. All right, here we go, folks. I just peeled it off. And I'm gonna place this right there. The rest of this will be freehand, vlog style. And so I'm just gonna relax and watch some TV, maybe curl my hair, I don't know, wash my face. Okay, so, um, it's 10.45, so it's been 24 minutes, but I do strangely feel relaxed. Not to a point where I feel high or anything, but it's almost a similar feeling. Um, I noticed right away that my feet were tingling, which is a little weird. But yeah, I'm not relaxed enough to where I feel like I can pass out. Okay, time is 11.28. It's been an hour and seven minutes now. And again, I feel relaxed, but nothing has changed. Like, I don't feel sleepy enough to go to sleep, so. 12.38 right now, it's it's about 15 minutes, or no, 17 minutes past the two hour mark, and uh, I'm just gonna make myself, well, I can't make myself go to sleep, but I'm actually gonna retire to my bedroom, turn my fan on, turn everything off, and try to go to sleep. Now, of course, I still feel really relaxed, but I haven't yawned since my last check-in and I honestly don't feel tired like I'm ready to pass out or anything. All right, you guys, uh, it's Tuesday, March 13th, uh, the early evening, I would say after my first night using the sleep Z patch. I'm just going to go over really quick what happened last night. It probably took me about the normal amount of time, well, I would say the minimal amount of time that it takes me to fall asleep. It took about 30 minutes. It wasn't a consistent six hours. I woke up three times, did not look at the clock because I didn't want to distract myself with that or stress myself out. But the one thing I'll say though, is that the three times I woke up, I was able to fall asleep, fall back asleep faster, so. And I was groggy this morning, but it's pretty typical for me anyway, before I have my coffee. So I can't really say it, it attributed to the patch. But anyway, it stayed in place. It's actually a little difficult to take off. Um, now what I decided to do, since it almost took two hours for me to like to really feel really tired and start yawning, that I'm gonna put the patch on three hours before I would like to go to bed, so. I do get to go go into work a little bit later tomorrow, but still, I'm I want to aim to be in bed and asleep around midnight, and so about nine o'clock, I'm gonna slap this puppy on. It's been two hours. It's eleven o six. Well, my clock's a little fast. It's probably like eleven o three. And I feel relaxed, 
but not tired enough to retire to my bed so I'm actually gonna continue watching my movie and just lay down on my couch so hello everyone it's day three Wednesday March 14th and I'm gonna quickly go over what happened night two basically the same thing I ended up not falling asleep still even though I put the patch on at nine did not fall asleep or I technically didn't fall asleep. I felt relaxed, but not sleepy, if that makes sense. And so I made myself go to bed at one o'clock. And I woke up yet again three times. Was able to fall back to sleep fairly fast all three times. But yeah, basically had the same performance. My mindset's already thinking that this is not going to help me at all. Okay, so the consensus for day three. Again, did not make me fall asleep any faster. So it did not make me fall asleep any faster. Yet again. But the thing I can say is though, at one o'clock when I decided to make myself go to sleep, I was asleep within three minutes. I could say for the first time, I wasn't as groggy this morning, so I didn't hit snooze as many times as I normally do. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about night four. Again, did not make me go to sleep any faster. But last night, I actually only woke up once instead of three times before my alarm went off. It was like 4.44, so I almost slept five hours straight, which is actually really good for me. And then I went back to sleep and woke up when my alarm went off. I have to say that when I went back to sleep, I did have a little more trouble falling back to sleep. So tonight, I'm actually going to put it on an even more thinner lean spot, I'm gonna put it on the top of my foot. I originally didn't want to because I don't sleep with socks on, so I felt like it would bother me, but I think it would be fine on the top of my foot. I believe last night was the fastest I fell asleep. I did put it on the top of my foot, so I'm gonna try the top of my other foot tonight. I was asleep within an hour, and I only woke up once, and it was like it was almost, well no, it was probably closer to 5.30 in the morning, so I slept for five hours straight. Or a little over five hours straight, which is really good. Okay, welcome to my face first thing in the morning. I originally wanted to film this conclusion, like, with my proper setup and the lights and full makeup, my hair done and all that stuff. But then I'm actually in the process of already editing this insomniac review and it's it's already to like 16 minutes so i figured i need to just do this conclusion blog style and just try to be short fast and brief and so i'm gonna quickly talk about night six i placed the patch on the other foot did not have the same results as i did the night before it did not make me fall asleep when i forced myself to sleep yeah i fell asleep fairly fast or faster than normal you know within an hour to 30 minutes but I still, um, I can't remember how many times I woke up, but I still only slept for like maybe five hours. The only real, I've only had really two successful nights recently. Night seven, I placed it on my abdomen. And one, I was asleep in like 30 minutes. Actually, I did fall asleep within 30 minutes. I only woke up once like halfway through the night, fell back asleep, and I slept for a total of seven and a half hours, which is the longest I've slept since starting this patch thing. Now, night eight, I thought maybe, oh, maybe it's because I placed it on my stomach. Well, I placed it on the other side of my abdomen, didn't have the same results, woke up two to three times again, fell back asleep, and maybe only slept for five and a half hours. Now, last night, I placed the patch on my left inner thigh and I was asleep within an hour. I woke up twice, fell back asleep, but I slept for a total of seven and a half hours again. So I hate to say this product is not very consistent with me. I feel like this is not gonna be my end all be all insomnia cure. But I think if you're not an extreme insomnia case like myself, it could be beneficial for you. Also, if you're like a regular wanderluster traveler where you fly a lot and experience jet lag, I can see this possibly helping with you getting back to a normal sleep cycle. So uh, if you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to leave them down below. And I think this is going to be it. Oh, 
And if you're a fellow insomniac or ex-insomniac, and if you have any suggestions or tips that are realistic and not troll comments, please leave them down below. Um, I'm open to whatever suggestions that aren't spam. This is Rose, and if you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching this crap. If you found this insomniac review at all helpful or entertaining, then please don't hesitate to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm become part of my random family. And until next time, I hope you all have a great day, and you will see me again hopefully very soon. Bye.